everyone, so I'm back with another video today and if you saw my video on last last Sunday, I think it was, uh, you would have seen my May Beauty Favourites and I kind of mentioned that I maybe wanted to start doing a non-beauty favourites as well so I thought I would just start it this month seeing as I have a few things that I have been enjoying. So I might do this every month or I might just do it kind of whenever I get <coughs> a gradual kind of set of things that I can show you but anyway I thought I'd do it this month it might be interesting I enjoy watching these kinds of things so maybe you will too so I'm just gonna get straight on to it then so the first kind of non-beauty favorite that I've been enjoying is actually trainers now I never used to be a trainer wearer I kind of just thought they were only for like working out or running or etc but I've kind of grown my collection quite a bit um, and I've been especially loving Nike trainers. Um, I've got my eye on a few more pairs that I want. But I currently own three pairs of Nike trainers, I think. Um, but the most kind of similar kind of style that I like is actually this style. So I did show these in a haul once, I think. Um, and it's just these kind of like the free run kind of style. So they're just like the super bendy ones. Um, and I don't wear them to run because I don't run. But I just think they're really comfortable and I like the bright pair because they can make like a boring outfit kind of interesting. So I've been wearing these quite a lot this month and the month before actually and I really like them. Um, so these ones I wear if I want like a pop of colour but they don't go with everything. So I also have this pair which are pretty similar. They're not as, this pair isn't as flexible as the other pair because I believe these are like lower Beck or something like free two or something like that um, but yeah these are just the black and white ones and I wear these more often because they go with a lot more um, so I really like these ones and I've actually had these ones quite a while and worn them a lot um, so yeah they are quite they're a bit different the two styles if you look at them they're a bit different but I like them both and yeah they've been a definite favorite this month something else that I have been kind of using a lot more since I've, I've I started um, commuting um, again this week I actually got myself a new job and I've started commuting in the mornings and I like to just kind of watch something or listen to music or something on the train I can't just sit there um, and kind of I don't really like the in-ear headphones they end up hurting my ears and it's not very, not very comfortable so I've been using these um, now I actually got these I think last year but I never really used them, I think I got them because I liked how they were on offer and they were pink and I just really liked them but I never used them but I've been taking them with me and they're really handy like you can just, they're quite small so they fit in my bag fine and the sound quality is really good um, I'm not actually sure of the brand, I can't remember but I'll try and link it below if I can find it um, but I remember they came in like loads of different colours like every colour of the rainbow and they're really comfortable so they've got like the padding and then they're adjustable and the cord is kind of like this material cord as well so they're quite strong and I will demonstrate them on my head so yeah so you can't hear pretty much anything either like I can't really hear a lot so they're really good for on the train I mean at first I felt like a bit of an idiot wearing these big headphones but then I just kind of got got over it and I'm fine now. So I like these. These have been a favourite and I definitely think I will be wearing these a lot. I've actually got a white pair similar but they're what I use for editing so um, I didn't really like them that much so I thought I wanted a nicer pair so I got these. The next favourite is a candle. Now I didn't really know if this would be part of like the beauty favourites or non-beauty so I'm going to stick it in the non-beauty because it's not really beauty. Um, and it's actually a flamingo candle and again I got this last year I think but I never burnt it because I have a couple of other ones and it's the flamingo candle in Parma violet so they come in these like glass jars and then each one has a coloured like acrylic flamingo thing and then they're different colours they're loads of different colours loads of different scents and they just they just look so good and this one just smells exactly like Parma violets now I haven't burnt it that much I think I've only burnt it like three times but from what I have burnt it, I really, really like it. Um, the scent is good. I mean, some candles, they smell so good in the jar. And then when you burn them, it just smells of burning. Um, but this one doesn't. This smells actually of Parma Violet. So I think they're really good. This was, I think, £12. So it's quite... It, it says you get like 50 hours of burn time, which I'm not entirely sure if you will or not because I haven't finished this yet. But 
I will keep you updated on that one. I'm actually going to write a blog post on it, so um, link that down below if it's up. If not, then check out my blog in the next week or so. But yeah, so that's a flamingo candle, and this one is Palma Violet. So next up is a book that I've been reading, and I am almost done with it, but not quite, but I thought I would include it anyway, because I've been reading it the whole month. Um, and it's actually the Game of Thrones book, the first one, um, because these books are absolutely huge. Um, now I do watch the series, I absolutely love the series, I'm up to date completely with it, so good and I just thought well it's about time I read the books. I know people usually read the books before they watch the series but I just did it the other way around for some reason. Um, and because I'm the world's slowest reader this is taking me a really long time to read. But as I said I'm kind of uh, I'm about that far through I think. So nearly done and I'm really enjoying it so far. It does differ from the, the programme differs to the book which I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean I don't know a lot of the characters seem like younger in the book or different or but I like it I like the book and I like watching the show and it doesn't bother me that they differ because they're two completely different things to me so yeah this is a good one and I actually have um, a couple of the next ones too so I'm going to start reading them soon but I was thinking maybe of doing like book reviews or anything, I don't know if anyone would find that interesting. Um, let me know in the comments if you would want to see any book reviews. Maybe I'll do this one, or maybe I'll just review the next book that I read, I don't know. But yeah, just let me know. So that has been a favourite, The Game of Thrones, the, the first one. Now a magazine that I've been enjoying this month, and it is the Stylist magazine. Um, now I actually have um, the iPad version of this, and I did read that, but I just... I don't know, I kind of like to have a physical magazine. When they brought out iPad editions and everything, it's great, but I like to have like a tangible thing. I'm one of those people. It's like books and everything. I like to have the actual book rather than ebook. So I have just been reading it on my iPad, but since, as I said, since commuting again, I've managed, I've been able to pick this up. And this is the second one that I've picked up. I think this was this week's. Yeah, this was this week. I've just been really enjoying reading the actual copy of it, but this is a, this is a great magazine anyway, Stylist. If you've never read it, then you can pick it up from, like, major cities, and it's usually, like, around train stations or think places like that. Um, but it's really good. It has kind of a mix, so it has, like, some beauty, fashion, then it has, um, kind of film things. It's got, like, a big feature this week on the film. Is it Spy? The Spy film that's just been released. Um, so yeah, so that's Stylist Magazine, um, I've really been enjoying this and yes, that is definitely a favourite. Um, now on to a TV show, so I watch quite a lot of TV shows and I watch them kind of in their American timings, um, so a lot of them are on hiatus at the moment which is quite annoying, but Game of Thrones is a definite favourite, um, I really really enjoyed that. And I've also discovered um, the programme, is it RuPaul's Drag Race? Um, now I mentioned this in my blog post yesterday, or it'll be up on Saturday when you're seeing this. Um, and I just I kind of discovered it accidentally. I was watching um, RuPaul's new show. I think it's called Good Work or something, where they discuss like plastic surgery and everything with the people from the TV show Botched. If you've ever seen that, um, and I wondered who he was. Like I'd never really heard that much about him. So I researched into him more, saw that he had the show RuPaul's Drag Race and it kind of reminds me of like, if any of you have ever watched America's Next Top Model, it's like that but for drag queens um, and I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, it's not one I think I could watch all the time but I did end up watching the whole season in a weekend which is not so great but I really enjoyed it and now it is on UK TV, I think it's on... TU TV or something so I've been watching the current season on that and I'm really enjoying it so it is just basically like America's Next Top Model so if you enjoy that then you'll probably enjoy this. Um, the final kind of favourite that I've got is actually an app and it is Pinterest. Um, now you've probably all seen this app before, I don't know how you're going to be able to see this but basically this is just kind of like my feed of images and then my boards etc like that. Um, and basically I've, I've had Pinterest for a while, you've probably all heard of it, you don't even need me to explain what it is but um, if you haven't then it's just like you, you can have boards, so like I have like a beauty board, fashion board, food etc and then you just pin images to your boards as like inspiration and things um, and as I said I've had the app 
for I've had like a, an account on Pinterest for a few years since it was in fact brought out but I never really got the point I never really understood what the purpose of Pinterest was but this past month I've just been pinning away until my heart's content and I just love it I just think it's great I, do, I just like seeing all the images and then arranging my boards nicely and it's just I've just enjoyed it so follow me on Pinterest if you are not already or if you are a keen pinner like myself I will leave the link below and yeah so that's all the favourites really that I've been loving this month um, as I said I'll probably do these maybe every other month or something because I'm not sure I'm going to have that amount of favourites but um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then a thumbs up don't forget to thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future and I'll see you in my next video then bye